to show you guys how to throw a cast net. So the first part of throwing a cast net is finding the cast net that fits your size. And that, that all depends on basically your size. I'm 100 pounds and I can pancake an 8 foot cast net. And, um, but it all depends on who you are basically. I, I also can throw up to a 10 foot net but not too well. But you're going to want to find a net that, you know, you're going to want to feel it first and say, alright, so this net's 15 pounds. Can I lift 15 pounds and throw it? And so, this is an 8 foot net, anyway, which means it opens up to 16 feet. So, you're going to want to find a net that you're comfortable with, you think will catch the bait that you're trying to catch. I mean, if you're trying to catch pinfish, you're probably going to want a bigger net because they're pretty fast. If you're looking for sardines, you're going to want a big net as well. Um, I, the smallest I'd go would be 8 feet for sardines. But, you're going to want, the bigger the net, the better. So, that's why you want to start as a kid because. You start off with a four foot net, then you go to a six, then you go to an eight, and by the time you're an adult, you'll be able to pancake almost every net, even like the 14 foot mullet nets. But anyways, this is an eight foot net, and the reason why I'm throwing this in this video is because I can pancake it. So, and it catches bait. This is generally what I use when I throw. right here. I have a eight foot joy fish cast net, which will open up to 16 feet. So it's a pretty big cast net. It probably weighs 15 to 20 pounds, but it's an awesome net. My favorite companies that make cast nets are uh, Joyfish and Lee International. The Bait Buster cast nets, they're awesome. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to get your hand line. It's the rope that's attached to the cast net. And there's going to be a loop on it. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to get get the line, the main line, pull it behind the, the loop, and then reach through and grab the line to form a noose. Once again, I'll do that for you. You're going to get the line, pull behind, then go from the other side, reach through, grab the line, and pull. And that will form a noose. And that's so that when you throw the net and it pulls, it'll just cinch down on your hand um, so that you don't lose the net. And it also is for a safety reason. If you ever, you know, throw the net on, you know, a big shark or something that it pulls, you're able to just stick your fingers under like this, yank it, and pull your arm out. So that's also for safe that noose and put it around your arm. And uh, you're going to want to put it around your uh, opposite arm. I'm a righty, put it on the left. If you're lefty, put it on the right. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to form loops around your hand just like you would with a garden hose. So you grab the line, pull down, wrap around, pull down, wrap around. So it's just like what you do with a garden hose if you do if you use the garden hose like that. Pull down, wrap around, pull down, wrap around. And you do that all the way until the head of the net. And then you're going to want to go down and reach the horn of the net. This is called the horn. And you're going to grab that horn and put it in the same hand with the line. Then pull back like so. Straighten the net out. Then get your hand, grab the horn like so, and slide all the way down. And, you know, since this net is big on me, because, you know, I'm five feet and it's an eight foot net, you're going to want to slide down grab the net and slide down again and then let go so you have something like that. If the net fits you, if you're like five feet and the net's like four feet, you just slide down to pocket level, which is generally what you do. But anyways, you grab it like that and you pick it up, then you get your hand with the line and you grab the net, slide down a little bit so it looks like that. And then you'll be able to tell if you did it right because there'll be a loop right here of net like so. So once again, what you're going to want to do, you have the loops, grab the horn, you slide down relatively low, so you have about two feet of net there, right there. You get, you, so you're holding it like that, you pull it up, and you grab Next thing it. you're going to want to do is sift through and make sure that there's no tangles in your net. And how you do that is you just grab your line, and you do it, and you just pull it out like this, and you make it like you're playing the harp. And if you see a, see a, uh, a tangle, you just go ahead and take care of that. And while you're doing this, you're going to want to do that only for 50% of the line. Then once you have 50% of the line, you're going to want to pick it up and roll it over your wrist. Once again, I'm, I have the 50%. Lift up, turn, and put it over your wrist. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get this part right here. So once you did that, you're going to have a layer of netting just right there on top. Now there's two things you can do with this. You can put it in your mouth, number one. 
you're not going to want to bite down the, on the leads because that's not too good for you and it can hurt your teeth as well. In the other way, the way that usually works best, is you grab the net and you throw it right over your shoulder like so. Then what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get the line. See, there's a, there's a first line and there's a second line of weights. Go to the second line, go right down to where it bends, put your pinky there, pull your pinky up, and dump the weights you just turned over into that hand. Make sure you don't get any of that rope in there. So then you're like this. And now you're fully loaded. You stick your arms out. You pull around like this. And you just kind of loft it like so. And there you go. I threw that one a little bit weak. But, that's pretty good. That's a pretty good cast net throw. As you can see right there, that pretty much fully opened. And um, you're always going to have a little bit slack in the middle like that, see? You're always going to have a little bit of slack near that horn. But other than that, I'd say that's, I'd say that that's pancake. a pretty good The pancake. only part that didn't open is this little section right here, as you can see. But... That's, the whole net's open, I mean, and no matter how good you are at throwing the net, there's always going to be a little piece, usually, that you can't get open like that. It's like a two-inch piece. Move it two inches, and look, that's a perfect pancake. But anyways, that that's uh, my throw, so thanks for watching.